So somebody like York uses a high speed design and I believe Carrier does as well, where you know they have a, a bull gear setup, we've got a low and high speed gears and they're running the imp one, one impeller and usually a smaller impeller at that um, to move the same volume of refrigerant. Uh, from experience though, those it's a great design, it's a great theory, but those do have a tendency to have a lot more trouble with surging and things. Uh, that's one thing, one prop I will give to train is they have a very solid design that is just, it's, it's it can take a beating uh, pretty good, honestly. Uh, I see a lot of them very mistreated and they just, they just keep working. Uh, but uh, theirs is a, what's considered a low speed, you know, design. So they have very large impellers, especially compared to the other manufacturers. And they use multiple of them. So they stage their impellers in such a way to where they can run this motor at a standard speed, 3,600 RPM, like a, a general uh, motor speed you would have on, on any typical commercial motor. There's nothing fancy. But they can do that and still get the same amount of volume and flow and things and efficiency through these impellers and in the, the multiple staging of them.